Every day, we make a real difference to our patients and to each other. But too many of you tell us that you also experience discrimination and even bullying. This affects all of us, including our patients, and it's not acceptable. We want our hospitals to be outstanding places to work and to be cared for. We want to be recognized for our compassion towards patients, their families, and to each other. We know that if we embrace diversity in all its guises, we are more likely to succeed, whatever the measure of success. In particular, those of you from an ethnic minority, especially Black African and Caribbean, some Asian, those with disabilities or long-term health conditions, and those of you who are LGBTQ+, have told us that you do not always have a positive experience at work. Over the last few months, we have held our big conversations, where many of you shared your experiences and told us where we need to improve the most and what you'd like us to do differently. You are especially concerned about fairness in recruitment. It should be inclusive, transparent, and equitable. It should never be about whether your face fits or who you know. Having an equal chance to progress, you want better access to training, career development, opportunities, and promotion. Poor behaviors, which too often are ignored and tolerated. You want everyone to own this and to call it out if they see it, one for all and all for one. Seeing more leaders who reflect our diverse workforce and managers who take the time to get to know you, to know what matters to you and are confident and competent when managing difference. You've told us that you want action, not action plans. We have heard what matters to you and are committed to working with you to get this right, right for everyone. We know it takes time. We know we need to put this to the top of our list of priorities and we know we will need to invest if we are to succeed. We expect to be judged by what we do and what we achieve not just by what we say. Our journey has already begun. Everyone in a leadership role is now required to undertake our compassionate leadership program. Leaders will be judged, not just on what they achieve, but how they achieve it, the extent to which they live our values and lead inclusively. We have done a root and branch review of our recruitment and selection policy and practices to ensure they are inclusive, that they are applied consistently, and that those involved in recruitment have been trained and know where to access advice when they need it. Our board has set out its ambition to be in the top 10% of acute trusts recommended as a place to work by all of their staff. They have adopted a zero tolerance approach to discrimination and aim to achieve the national model employer targets four years early to expedite our goal of increasing the number of black, Asian and ethnic minority leaders in band 8A and above. We know that the playing field isn't level. We will take positive action and be proactive in recognizing and addressing the things we know hold some people back. We have already established career clinics run by our education team to help with CV writing and interview skills. We are working with partners Gloucestershire Health and Care to launch positive action development programs for black, Asian and ethnic minorities, disabled and LGBTQ plus colleagues and their managers. We have apprenticeships for all with pathways that can lead to professional and vocational qualifications across clinical and non-clinical roles with a wide range of courses to become an allied health professional, porter, pharmacist or learning to be a project manager or take a degree or master's program. We are aware that not everyone has had equal opportunities and entry to our programs recognize this. Quite rightly, you expect your workplace to feel safe, to be free from discrimination, a place where you feel valued and you can realize your full potential whatever your gender, skin color, religion or sexuality. We want this too. We will have a zero tolerance approach to proven discrimination with consequences for those who, despite support, do not live our values and adopt our behaviors. Programs such as Respectful Resolution and Civility Saves Lives will ensure we address concerns as soon as they appear and before they become issues which cause distress and anxiety. The journey has started and we want everyone to join us in making Gloucestershire hospitals a place where everyone feels valued and included, where people feel proud to work 
and we're looking after each other, whatever our characteristics, is the norm. We won't get it right all of the time, but it won't be for the lack of trying or ambition. And when we don't, you'll feel able to tell us, and we'll sort it together. Diversity is a fact, but inclusion and compassion are choices. Please choose to join us on our journey to outstanding and help us to bring our vision of best care for everyone and best care for each other to life, every day and for everyone.